Hey everybody, and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. For this video, we will be um, stenciling on a doormat. If you're interested in seeing that video, stand by. So the items you will need to complete this project is a doormat. I purchased this doormat from Target a long time ago, so I don't know how much it will cost now. This is an 18 by 30 plain doormat, um, and I got it from Target. And you'll need some removable vinyl or stencil vinyl to put your design, whatever you want, on there. You can use spray paint, you can use regular acrylic paint, that's what I'll be using today, in black. You'll need something to stencil the paint onto the mat, and then you'll need some clear spray to kind of um, cover the mat once it's dry and everything else. I think that is everything that we need for this project. If there is anything else, I will put it in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm about to do is get my removable vinyl decal um, that I already printed out my design on, on Cricut Design Space. And then I'm just reverse weeding um, the design. So what reverse weeding, weeding is, if you're not familiar with it, is just kind of removing the things that you would usually, usually leave on the um, white paper. So you're taking that off because that is what you'll place onto the mat to stencil your design on so it's just basically removing the pieces that you would typically want to stay on there but you're removing them off so that's all i'm doing right here and i'll kind of just speed through this one because all it is is just me weeding out the letters <laughs> all right and so next i'm just getting some um transfer tape because I was going to just peel it off of the backing but it was such a big stencil I didn't want to mess it up so I'm just getting a transfer tape cutting it out to align with the size of the decal so I can place it neatly onto the mat so if you want to you can just do this without transfer tape or, um, tape, or you can use masking tape to um, help you put your decal down or you can just peel it off of the backing and then place it onto the mat. Um, but either way, you would have to use something gently to, especially if you have a big decal, to place it onto your mat. So that's all I'm doing right here. All right, so it was kind of annoying um, laying the vinyl decal down or the stencil down onto the rug because it would not stick because of how the rug is made. So the decal would not stick to the mat. Um, so just kind of take your time when you're peeling back the transfer tape because the stencil will pop up unless you put some tape or something on the back of it. Um, but it kept just popping up in some of my, um, like you'll see right here, the O the middle of it kind of ripped up, but I was able to place it back down. But the stencil itself would not stick to the mat. So if you do decide to use like a removable vinyl um, with this type of mat, just beware that it may not stick to your mat. So just take your time when pulling your transfer tape off. <laughs> So now that our stencil is laid down, um, what I'm going to do is just take some black paint. So I have the black acrylic paint that I purchased from either Michaels or Walmart. Um, I did mix in some really jet black uh, alcohol ink because I really wanted the um, paint to be extra, extra black. 
Um, so all I'm doing is taking the little stencil brush and dotting inside of the um, empty space of the stencil so I can get the paint there. Um, my stencil brush, it did have a stick on there, but it ended up breaking. So I just took the sponge and just kind of dab. You just want to make sure you dab in there. You don't want to like do paint strokes or anything in case your stencil is not um, laid down flat because it may um, bleed underneath. So just the, dipping the paint into the not the paint the brush into the paint and then just dabbing 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 to get it in the consistency or the darkness that you want it and then move on to the next letter i did have to go over this i believe three times just to, to make sure i got in all the nooks and crannies of the um mat so that's pretty much all i'm doing in this step here so i'll just fast forward past this so you can just um see me doing each and every letter. paint on there and now I'm just going to let it dry overnight and I'll be back to um, touch in some little empty spots and then clear coat it. Alright so it's been 24 hours. I let this dry so I'm going to go ahead and just take the stencil off and see how it turned out. Okay. And you can actually use um, wax paper if you don't have any like removable vinyl or anything like that. All right, my E is kind of janky, but other than that, everything else came out fine. Let's see. Okay. All right, so the project is pretty much done. All I'm gonna do is put a little clear coat on there to protect the paint from when people um, step on it and whatnot, but it's pretty much done. Um, if you like this project, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you um, are not subscribed to my channel, but you are watching this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. And also, if you're interested in seeing any updates or any projects, um, you can join my Facebook group, Crafting Made Easy. I'm trying to post in there at least three times a week. Um... Yeah, I'm going to post in there about three times a week, but don't be afraid to post or put your projects or anything, helpful tips, um, anything that you want to put in that Facebook group. It is our area to just kind of just craft and be free with our crafts and so forth. It's a free space and no one is going to bully you or anything like that. So um, just feel free to post whatever you wish in the, well, at least it has to be craft related in the group. All right, y'all. Um, until next time, peace.